All right, how's it going, everyone? I hope you guys are all doing well on this uh, bright, sunny day. I hope you get the time to get outside and, and enjoy it. I know I probably won't be able to, but that's okay. Um, anyways, um, like I said, I hope you're doing well. Um, I cannot stress enough the importance of this particular lesson about learning about um, your particular stance, as well as the term stasis. So I hope that you guys have a pen and pen, a pen and paper or however you want to record it on your iPad or however you want to do it. But I really do, before we move on, I want to make sure that everyone is gathering um, the information as far as what stasis actually means. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to walk you through several different levels of stasis because a lot of times in current argument, people don't necessarily reach stasis at all. They, they um, without coming to complete stasis, the, uh, which is the point where um, the rhetors agree to disagree, the point of actual disagreement. Until you come to that and come to an understanding of what that means and where you both stand on the issue, uh, the the conversation cannot become fruitful. It just it is just an argument. An argument, in order to be effective, needs to actually create meaningful change. Otherwise, you're just stating your opinion, um, and that's why people get into arguments. Be it everywhere from the political level to social media to um, family arguments. So I'm going to go from the grand, I'm going to go from the large issues all the way down to interpersonal arguments. Okay, so um, without further ado, I'm going to give you several situations. And then we're going to, um, I'm going to show you which level of stasis that is. Okay, so the first situation is uh, polar ice caps. They're melting. Uh, that's scientifically verified. They are melting. Global temperatures are in what seems to be an unnatural state of flux, and there is, many would argue, a growing hole in the ozone layer, one that they have found. Okay, I'm not trying to push an opinion on you or anything like that, but this is the situation that we find ourselves in, or in which we find ourselves. So you can argue about that, and people are arguing about that. Go look on the internet. You'll see, you know, look on the on like the comments on um, newspaper articles on the internet about global warming, and you'll see just how contentious this argument can be. However, they don't make the the difference is. And I'm going to go back to that slide. The difference is um, whether or not this is a problem. First of all, you have to under, you have to come to a stasis of conjecture. Does it exist? Are the polar ice caps melting? Is it true? Some would argue that it's a natural it's it's a natural cycle, or some would argue that it's not even happening at all. So, from where did it come? How did it begin? What's it caused, and can it be changed? The first thing the redder the are two people that are arguing have to agree with is that there is a situation. Violence in Anchorage, you can also come to that understanding. Some people might say there's not a problem with violence in Anchorage. It doesn't exist. Some would say, yes, it does, and it's very bad. But you have to define whether or not there is an actual situation. To, is there something to be argued about? Okay? Is there a problem? One group might not agree that there's a problem. One group might agree that there is a problem. Before you can continue to argue, before this argument can get anywhere, you have to, you have to figure out, is there a problem first? Once you do that, you get into the next level. Some with uh, uh, global warming would argue that it's a natural cycle. It's something that... Um, it's something that is that happens um, throughout time. We had ice ages. We had uh, periods of of heating and warming, cooling. We had you know very cataclysmic climactic change. Some would argue that it's anthropogenic, 
meaning that we humans caused it. With all the stuff that we put into the atmosphere, with our carbon footprints and whatnot, we've caused it. Before we can even continue, we have to figure out, okay, first is there a problem? Where did it come from? Is it natural or is it man-made? Human-made, sorry. What's its cause and can it be changed? Stasis of conjecture. Remember this. Write that down. Okay. Another situation. The economy is in a poor state. We can all agree with that. And at the time that I made this slide, we are in the middle of the 2012 election season. We're just after that season, but um, whichever. Um, let's look back to the last election, not... Um, the first, the 2008 election, but let's look, actually, no, let's look back to the, the original Obama-McCain um, election. Okay. During the Obama and McCain election, there was a question, a lot of times the, the political arguments, they're not really coming to, to stasis whatsoever. They're just arguing. Um, and they're just trying to knock each other down. That's what John Stewart calls WrestleMania argumentation. Um, but uh, one reporter during a particularly um, contentious um, press conference with, in which they had both of the two there asked, can you define the word rich? Because one side, Obama, aptly on the left, wanted to um, tax the rich, wanted to tax the rich and reduce the taxes on the poor. Um, McCain wanted to lower taxes altogether and did not want to, to tax the rich people. However, the, the reporter, sorry, I, I'm having a hard time formulating thoughts right now. The reporter said, first of all, define rich. You're arguing about, um, you're arguing about whether or not we should tax the rich, but how can you define what that is? Can you define what rich is to you? Obama said 250,000 plus, and that's, that would be rich to him. McCain on the right said 5 million plus is rich. So they had very differing versions of what rich meant, of what it meant to be wealthy. I don't know about you guys. I work in academics. Um, I don't think I even know somebody. I really would have to s really stretch my mind to find somebody who even makes $250,000. Actually, I don't even know if I know anyone who makes $200,000. Wow, I have no one to mooch from. Oh, well. Um, so they had very different versions. They, in order, what this, this, uh, reporter did was he's trying to bring the argument to a stasis of definition before we can argue about who should be taxed as far as rich is concerned we had to come to a stasis of definition of what exactly that means if you're talking about the environment what does a um poor environment look like what do you mean by um environmental degradation? Is it extinction of animals? Is it smog? Or is it a simple inconvenience? Either way, the argument's not going to change until we define, the issue's not going to change until we first do what Plato uh, enjoins upon us. Plato always talked about define your terms. Always define your terms. Before you um, can continue, before you can speak, define your terms. So when you are writing your papers, everyone, when you're doing your papers, always in the very beginning, bring everybody to the stasis of definition. Define for them what you mean by that, by something. If you're talking about the environment, define what you mean. If you're talking about the economy, define what you mean. If you're talking about gun safety, what is gun safety? Is it an absence of guns or is it an absence of gun violence? Or is it um, simple safety versus regulation? Okay. By the way, if anybody can get it, get a hold of the uh, um, 
the transcripts or the audio of the uh, Harvard UAA debate between um, about um, gun control, about repealing the Second Amendment. It's really interesting. Um, Harvard argued to repeal the Second Amendment, and Alaska argued, or UAA argued to maintain the Second Amendment. Really interesting. Okay. Another situation. Let me see how much time I have. I have 15 minutes for each lecture. Oh, I have four minutes left. Okay. Um, the situation is terrorism. Okay. On, on the left, we have uh, the World Trade Center. I'm not, I don't need to define what that is. Everyone knows what that is. If you don't, get out. I don't know. Um, and on the right, we have U.S. out now. We have a, a protest against the reaction to the war. The U.S.'s reaction to the war. The stasis of quality. How serious is terrorism? Is it... Is terrorism bad enough to warrant action? Is it bad enough for us to be afraid? Are there people dying all over the place by terrorism? Is there a boogeyman out there? Is, does it warrant profiling people? Or is it not bad enough to where we don't need to worry about it and we just need to be pacifists? It's a stasis of quality. How bad is it? Okay? If you have a sickness, is it bad enough to where you need to take immediate action? Or is it not strong enough to the point where you don't even need to worry about it? Just let it heal on its own. Will terrorism heal on its own? Will anything heal on its own? Can we define healing? Can we define sickness? Can we define violence? How bad is it? Um, when is does it become a single event or a mass shooting? How do we define those? Okay. Which brings us to the stasis of policy. What should be done about it? Okay. Was Iraq a problem? You see in the middle of the statue of Saddam Hussein going down. Was it a problem? What is a dictatorship? Stasis. Is there a problem? Is there a dictator? Stasis of conjecture. What is the... Um, how bad is it? Is it bad enough to the point where we become we get to a stasis of policy. If we can define, if we can go through all the conjecture, the definition, the, um, the quality, and then we have to come to an understanding of what should be done about it. We know that gun, we can, we know that there is gun violence. We know that gun violence is bad. Are the recent shootings bad enough to warrant, um, to warrant actually doing something about it, to warrant uh, restricting gun rights. Okay, so what should be done about a problem? We all know that there are problems, but we disagree on what those problems mean, or what those problems are, what those problems mean, how bad those problems are, and we definitely disagree on what we should do about it. Do you see what I'm saying? All right, there's going to be more in just a little bit because YouTube only lets me post um, 15 minutes. So hang tight, click on the next one, and you'll see the rest of this lecture. All right, bye for now.